Hey y'all, it's Monique with Texas Gal Studio coming to you with a little video on showing how I get prepared for summer activities with the kiddos. So one thing I do is I usually get a calendar and I'll just jot down what I think we might do or what we're attempting to do. So like, let's see, tomorrow is toilet paper roll butterfly and work on journal decor on Monday. So this is pretty much what Sunday is going to look like so i actually did a video with my son creating these so that tutorial will be up on sunday i want to post this up tonight tonight saturday the 2nd of june and um so you'll see the tutorial on that and of course i'm going to try to come live as well with my nephews and nieces um, doing their own butterfly and um, just showing you the level of how four-year-olds create it, how a 10-year-old creates it, you know, stuff like that. So a, a lot of us have different age group of kiddos, and um, I'm even going to get my 15-year-old niece to try to do it with them as well, some uh, toilet paper butterflies. So yeah. Um, so what I do is I usually get, like I said, a calendar, and I'll write down, I'll usually do it in pencil, but um, I'm more than certain we're going to do that. So that's why I wrote these in pen, but I usually do it in pencil in case we don't do it. I'll erase what I had planned for that day and then just move it on to the next day until we actually accomplish our um, set activity set goal um, so work on journal decor um, pretty much it's a simple journal that I purchased let me show you so it's one of these journals and I've already pre-cut some different papers that they could choose from so they could glue on I've pre-cut some little um, ephemera so they could glue on it as well um, so this is pretty much what it's going to look like I've done several activities to show them pretty much uh, what it should kind of look like just so they can have, a, you know, some kind of background and understand what they have to do with their journal. And so that's what they're going to do. What I want to do in here is let them write in it whatever activities they do. If it's like a cut and paste, they could cut and paste in here. If they want to have like a drawing day, they can draw in here. That way I can actually keep this as well and they can write, you know, the date. This is what we did on this day. And as we go on, hopefully we'll fill it up. Not necessarily all in one summer, but these, this could be, you know, for a couple of summers. So that's what I have planned for the journal. Um, one of the other activities that I've been wanting to do with them, and we'll probably, this is already, um, I did pre-print and pre-cut these. And um, all they have to do is fill it in and just glue it. And it has stuff like my favorite color, my favorite book. So this one, I can't remember where I got this from. Um, but this is something that I um, have been wanting to do. So they'll probably put their um, the date and the age and just glue it onto their journal. The next thing I also thought was a super cool idea. And I just got these images from um, Google. And all I did was put like grasshopper image uh, like label and so what is labeled is what I want them to label here and just color the grasshopper like th they might not have to memorize all this I just want them to kind of get the basic idea and then we'll just search up like what do the bugs eat I'll ask them and I'm pretty sure I have the answers here but of course I'll, I want to ask them yeah see I have the grasshopper facts and I have the ladybug facts because my older kiddos will be doing a grasshopper and my younger son, which uh, he's five years old, will be doing a ladybug. And, okay, so there's the grasshopper again. I'm pretty sure I had a ladybug. So there's the ladybug. So he'll just see that and he'll identify the parts of the ladybug. And that's pretty much it. Super simple for him. Not, um not too difficult for my five-year-old and uh, just maybe get him to draw maybe a ladybug inside that mason jar that you saw back here um, but that's pretty much how I do this also another thing that I do is when I do have a certain project that I could fit in a ziploc bag so I'll keep that one day in that one ziploc bag so I know okay so this is what we're gonna do um, certain day like this is what it's gonna what's gonna happen on June 4th and I'll have everything already ready that way they just glue I'll have the glue in there as well just stuff like that I'll keep a basket handy the same for the toilet paper rolls um, you know just stuff like that I'll put everything in like a little bin like I have here and that's what we will work on I'll keep um, everything kind of organized and try to um, try to keep everything as organized as possible so yeah that's what we will be doing um, 
or I'll be doing with the first week with the kids and then I'll come in and maybe I'll try to come in maybe every Saturday if possible and kind of just update you on what we've done and what we'll be doing for the following week. Um, I think that would be super neat just to see what other parents, other fathers, mothers are doing with their kiddos during the summer um, with their kids. And of course, um, some of these, like the grasshopper, we can actually go outside and look for a grasshopper or I could take them somewhere like to the park and look for a grasshopper and then have fun the rest of the afternoon at a park, you know, stuff like that. So as I'm doing these activities, I want to come back and just touch base with y'all and t let you know what, um, what we're doing. So I hope this helps you all, um, get inspired and create some fun stuff and learning activities with your kiddos. And I'll be back to, um, show you the rest. So stay tuned. Be safe. Stay strong. Bye y'all.